For workshop one, we're going to look at setting up the database. We're going to go through setting up our master database as a standalone database type, looking at the local folders, going to view transportable databases and how we can bring in extra data into our master database. We're going to explore model groups and networks, setting up our units for our network and also the coordinate system. We're going to look at setting up data flags to track changes to the network, as well as setting up user-defined defaults and then going through the ICM help topics. To begin, working in InfoWorks, we must set up a master database. To do this, we're going to click on the new master database icon in the top left-hand corner. You can see from the window that there are two master database types in ICM. The difference between these is that the standalone is really intended for one user on one machine, whereas multiple users can work in a work group and access the same master database at the same time. So let's begin by selecting a new standalone master database. We're going to save it in our RAFs in ICM training folder, and we're going to give it the name RAFs in ICM. We hit save, and then OK. You will be able to see a new master database icon in our Explorer window. Now we're going to view the location of our local folders. To do this, we go to Tools, Options, and select the Local Folders tab. The Local Folders is where ICM will store our working files. The specific, this is specific to users and their working folders will update to the master database once the changes are committed. The location for these files are set automatically by ICM, but they can be changed manually. It is a good idea to clean any unused files from these folders as they have a tendency to contain a lot of data if it's not maintained regularly. To view the location of our folders, we just select open the folder for this database with Windows Explorer. And here you will see our location file path. Close the window and get out of our options window. Now we're going to look at transportable databases. Transportable databases uh, help us move database content from one master database to another. This will allow the data to be zipped up and emailed slash transferred to a new location. It is never a good idea to copy the master database contents directly and you should always use a transportable database to move the data. For the rest of the workshops in this training, we will use some template data that has been stored in a transportable database. To open a transportable database, we can go to File, Open, and open a new transportable database, or alternatively, we can click on the Open Transportable Database icon. We're going to navigate in our RAFs in ICM Training Data folder, and we're going to select the RAFs in ICM ICMT file type. Open, and this will open the transportable database in our window. We want to right click on the RAFs tutorial complete model group and select copy. We're going to paste this into our master database. Check copy ground models and select continue. You will see that the transportable database, the contents within that database are now copied into our master database. So we're going to right click on the Explorer tab and close it. Now we're going to look at model groups and networks. Model groups store all the modeling and simulation data created in InfoWorks ICM for a particular project. It is also possible to use model groups to group particular data types together. For example, we can have a model group that groups rainfall events. Uh, we can also have a model group that contains our ground models. What we're going to do now is create a new model group and a new network within our master database. To do this, we right click on the master database 
go down to new and add a model group. We're going to call this Rafts Tutorial. Select OK. This will be the folder that's going to contain all our project components, such as our network, rainfall and results. Now we're going to create a network. So to do this, we go right click on our model group that we just created, new InfoWorks and InfoWorks Network. We're going to call this industrial development. The network will contain all our physical attributes for the network, such as nodes, subcatchments, links, etc. To open up our network, we double click or drag it into the GeoPlan. Next, we're going to set up the units for our master database and we're going to set the coordinate system for our project network. To begin, we go Tools and select Options. Under the Units tab, we're going to make sure that they are set to Metric, which is the ICM default, and press OK to close the window. To change our coordinate system, we go to GeoPlan, Set Coordinate System, and we're going to choose the three ellipses under projection and we're going to navigate to the map grid of Australia 1994. Open that up and select MGA zone 56. Press OK. Now we're going to set up our data flags. Data flags are an important part of our model auditing process and they are important in determining where data originated. There are some fixed default flags in ICM and we can also set up some new user-defined flags. So to change the flags, we can select the user flags icon or we can go to file, master database settings and select user-defined flags. Here we're going to set up a flag for changes made by myself. So I'm going to enter in my initials, select a color, and just give it a description. And press OK once you're done. To make sure that these changes are being uh, viewed once we make them in our properties, we want to check on the user edit flag and make sure that our initials are selected. Now we're going to look at setting up some user-defined defaults for our network. This is going to be helpful if we, have, if we are using the similar objects over and over again when creating new objects into our network. To do this, we go to Network, scroll down to User-defined defaults, and we're going to select Subcatchment. We're going to use the down arrow next to Land Use ID to open up the default. Here we're going to change the name to Rural and then we're going to set up the default for our Runoff Surface 1. So again, select the drop down and select Open Runoff Surface 1. Here we're going to change a few of these properties. In the description, we're going to change it to IL, IL equals 15 CL equals 2.5, N equals 0 0.045. We're going to change our surface type to pervious, our routing model to rafts, our runoff volume type is going to be DEFCON loss, we're going to set a maximum deficit of 15 millimeters, and our infiltration loss is going to be 2.5. Our loss type is going to be absolute, we're going to change this to zero, and our Mannings is 0 0.045. Once they have been entered, we select close, close again, and make sure we choose the rule land use type that we just created, and select OK. Uh, 
last thing to look at in workshop one is the ICM help menu. Innovise have put together a collection of resources that they think will help get users up and running. If you ever you are unsure of anything or where to go to next in ICM, the ICM help is often the greatest place to begin. So to access the help menu, we can press F1 on the keyboard, or we can go to help and select help topics. Here you can scroll through the entire contents within the help topics, or you can search for uh, useful information. Here we're going to type in rafts, and we're going to list the topics. This will contain titles that include our search word. We're going to double click on the first title, rafts routing model, and here you can see a wealth of information about the RAS routing model in ICM. To clear the highlighted words, we can press F5. We'll close the help menu, and that's workshop one.